All right, let's get some fishing done. Let's get some fishing done. Here we go. No, let's get some sleeping done. What is the matter with me? Resty time. This over here, this over here. Um, how much money do I have at this point in time? I really want to get this engine upgrade. And also, if I look at my research, I like only have. Oh, I do have two research parts. Wow. Refined outboard engine. I like going fast. All right, so let's... Oh, I thought it was an outboard engine. Oh, come on. All right, how do I... Oh, I bought it. I literally just bought it. All right, congratulations to me. I own an engine. So if I uninstall this... I can put it in storage, uninstall this, and put it in storage, and then I can go to... Okay, I, I have just harmed myself. Okay, so I put it... How does this even work? So here's this new one here. I can't install it here. Yes, I can somehow. There it is. All right, so this... We do want more slots, and I remember that there was an upgrade that allowed me to get more slots. Allowed me to get more slots. Slots nets. Where did this even... Because I thought that there was a thing that gave me two other slots there. Someone help me out. Dry dock? Oh, that's right. All right, so we want more engine spaces, so we're just gonna do this. We're gonna purchase this upgrade. Oh, so I drag these into there and then I hit purchase. Okay, okay, I am learning the mechanics of the game. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Good, 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 good. What? So I need, I, we have the lumber. That's good. So I can... Can I do it like this, where I dunk these things in? Or if I go to engine spaces, I can, like, place this here. And then I can just, like, walk away. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I am an understanding gamer. All right. Beep, beep. Um, what was I trying to do? Steel point... I believe that we still needed some extra machine parts there, so I'm gonna go dredging. Go dredging. Oh boy. Oh boy. It's Tuesday, day nine. That'll mess with someone watching on YouTube. I, I should just <laughs> say random days of the week in hopes that someone will be pleased. Happy Tuesday, everyone. what we need. The dredging minigame is super fun. All, the, all these minigames are really nice. And it's kind of funny because, I don't know about you, but I grew up playing a lot of those simple Flash games. You know, on like Congregate and stuff. And I always felt like there was mechanics in there that were so pleasing. That I always wondered why they were not in... More game releases. You know, more like... Huge... Budget games that just have these, like, tiny little pleasing mechanics. Where am I right now? I just started going. Oh, cool. I'm not going to do very much. I was just going to take a peek and then bounce out again. Oh, yeah, fantastic contraption. Alright, so we get here. Engines provide five more movement speed than listed. Uh.
Oh, that's really nice. Pull alongside a boat at anchor. There are signs of life on board, but nobody appears to greet you. Hello? Almost immediately, a small slot at the door snaps open. A pair of frantic eyes peers out at you. Who goes there? It's a fisherman. It's a dredger. Mm. What do you want? Oh, just checking to see if you're okay. Do I seem okay? No, I am very much not okay. Supposed to be delivering this package to Little Mara, but I'm being stalked. Usual Viathan lurks in these deep waters. I've seen it. All right. All right. Okay. Would have swallowed this vessel whole and bolted to the shallows. Not going to be further into this cursed island chain. All right, you would. All right, well, let's take the package and... I really... Why did why did I not rotate this thing, man? Alright. Give me your lumpy brown package. You have the faintest of whispers coming from it. Now, I'm not supposed to be transporting live goods. Don't have the equipment for it, so just be careful with this thing, whatever it is. Here, why don't you take this, too? Again. Not emerged from the door hole this time a bullet. Just push through. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and select this book. Pursuits, deliver the package. All right, so I'm going straight back to Little Marrow. And I mean, the 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 there's the story and Lori goals. But I'll be real with you. What I genuinely want, what I actually am interested in, is getting this boat to go faster. It's so crazy to me that this game. Holy shit. I don't know why I went towards that. It's so interesting to me that this game... Oh, shit. Um, has... Actual fishing stuff? Or, excuse me, actually, like, the way... Jesus! I'm never gonna be able to make this point, because this point, I'm, like, so frightened by what I could encounter in the game. Whew! Let me try this again. Um... I like the fact that it's using lights and lighthouses in the game as the way to guide me with, like, the compass. As opposed to, like, you know, any sort of in-game UI element. Feels pretty fun. Alright, everything's fine. Everything's fine. These eyes don't bother me. All right, so let's... Oh, it's a grieving father. Hello, is everything okay? Hey, you're grieving. Do you happen to know any shipwrecks? Can you name for me just one shipwreck? Well, yes, you see, my only son was lost at sea some years ago. Does your son perhaps have metal bits and lumber there? Do you, If I went to dredge, not for your son, mind you, but for the valuable resources I need to complete quests, do you think I'd find them there? He's still out there somewhere, in one of those wrecks, all alone in the cold, dark water. The man is clearly trying his hardest to remain composed, but the tremors of grief rack his body. I was wondering. I noticed you have some dredging equipment installed on your vessel. Do you dredge? If you're able to retrieve any of his belongings from the wreck, I think he'd feel more at peace if his mementos were with me. He wore a bronze belt buckle. Especially engraved. I recognize it anywhere. There's a chance you could find it. In your deck. Explain that you found a bell buckle, but it's currently in your storage. Please, bring it to me. I need to know if it's his. Anything else I can help you with? Alright. I'd, I'd better go. Let's, let's get some organization here. Shit. So the pearl earrings. I don't know if this is like actual relevant stuff, or whether this is just like a sellable. 
Big tool, metal scraps, large package. Oh yeah, supposed to be delivering this. Oh heck yeah! Give the man the bell buckle. You give the bell buckle. To the man. This is, this is his. Oh thank you, bless you. You've returned him to me. Next, this guy's gonna be like, my son dropped a stack of twenties. I think he'd rest well knowing that you brought those twenties back to me. Wait, this stack of twenties? I recognize them. They're his. Thanks so much. I'll just keep these. Please, take this. Oh, dude, you know I love research parts. Anything else I can help you with? Do you know of any strange occurrences? Oh, dude, look at this. Look at this. Our little bot. Our little bot is helping us out, too. Look, let's go, Nightbot. Yeah. Hell yeah, Nightbot. Hell yeah. Founded a game studio. We're hiring. If any of you want to apply, tweet, retweet. Get on Mastodon and toot it. <laughs> I do remember the old mayor in his final days. What an awful sight it was. Screaming and throwing things into the sea. Throw it back! He would cry over and over, begging anyone who would listen, howling it to the wind. These days, I almost feel like I understand. Anything else I can help you with? Good lord, Dad. Thanks so much. So... Sell all trinkets. Okay, so let me actually see if I go to my storage. And I bring this one over. Is this the kind of thing that the trader wants? Yeah, all right. And the dock worker. I've got a present for you. Mm. A delivery, eh? Oh, it's a big one. Let me see. He takes the large package and examines it gently with his hands. He lifts it to one ear and listens for a while. He... Seems satisfied. Much appreciated, friend. Now, if you'll excuse me, wish me luck. He turns and hurries off down the dock without another word to you or compensation. So, I delivered the package. Um. So, there's also research. Oops. Okay. I didn't mean to hit this, but I've, but I've hit it. It has been hitted. Undock. Go, go, go. Went straight across the bay to sell some stuff. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Actually, I mean, I may as well do some fishing while I'm here. Lately, I've been thinking about games that have, like, a really good balance of, like, high and low. Believe it or not, partly because I was playing Project Zomboid, and that's what that game is. There's this incredible, calm, almost bland element to some of the times in the game. Many eyed mackerel. So, I'm starting to get the impression that anytime something is in any way referencing a sort of Cthulian vibe to it or a Lovecraftian vibe, it just gets a violet background look to it. I sort of incorrectly assumed that violet meant it was like a quest type thing. Is this a black flounder? No, this is a gulf flounder. So I think I need to do some night fishing if I want to do that. All right, so this is this is a questy guy, huh? Lumpy mackerel. I actually want to see what the difference in these prices are. So as the boss is just tuned in, what's the short explanation of this game? This is a horror fishing game where I'm trying to uncover a mystery in this collection of islands, all while upgrading my boat. Uh, so this is a really pricey mackerel. I see. Alright, so now what I want to do is I want to go to the dry dock. Oops. That was a whole lot of stuff that I didn't really need to do. Okay, so if I go back to the shipwright... Oh, 
shit. Ah! Oh god. Okay, how do I how do I get it in there? Pick up. Oh my god, how do I do it? How someone help me with this. Explain to me the buttons that I need to hit. Middle click it to cargo. Oh my god, fuck yeah. Amazing. <laughs> Alright, dude, I'm gonna go sell this fish to cargo. X to the fishmonger. Sell. Wow, you give me nothing for that, man. That's that's a ripoff. That is a real ripoff right there. All right, so what I need to do is I need to undock and I need to fish a little bit more. Because I want to be jettisoning along. I want to be going so fast. The flounder was rotting. Oh. Can't believe that these are like actual fish that behave like real fish. Congratulations, you're an engine. I love that he still buys. Go fast. I want to go fast. There's no fuel. It doesn't look like there's fuel in this game, which I actually really appreciate. So, man, it is easy to get turned around in this game. Oh, dude, lumpy back, bro. Doing, doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. I'm like, I'm like winning the game. I'm curious how many of you, like how, how long it took for a lot of you to, no, actually, I don't want to know how long it took for the game. I don't really want. Scourger Land says, hey, Sean, I just read a tweet about your game studio, and I'm beyond excitement. Wish you the very best of luck, and I'll scour the VODs for info in the next few days. I'll be honest with you, Scourger Land. Most of the info's there in the tweet. Not, we're, not, we're not doing anything except a hiring announcement. Quixoticism says, when does a horror start? Uh, as rarely as possible, to be honest, because I am a coward. What information are you hiding? Pretty much anything not in the tweet, to be honest. <laughs> like like mo most of it. There we go. Now this is now this is this is thrilling. Because now I can rotate. Dude. Turn to town. Undock. Holy! Oh shit! <laughs> Look how fast I am. Yo, I'm drifting, baby. Oh my god! Let me tell you, this was the right thing to have done. Oh hell yes! Let's get that repaired. Repair. Oh, I can't wait to go to bed. I cannot wait to go to bed. All right, let's see. Let's see how the tweet is doing. Ooh, we got we got a hundred retweets in thirty minutes. Hell yeah! Oh, I see you re responding, Scourger Land. That's amazing. Oh yeah, oh yeah. This this tweet is taking off. It's gonna get almost as much visibility as that tweet I sent that said, "Retweet if you love towels." <laughs> All right, let's come up with some goals for ourselves. I don't remember what this thing was. Perhaps it was a shipwreck. Wait, J is the journal, so we still need lumber and scrap for there. Wow, this is actually really helpful. Oh my god, I am so fast. I, I am so blown away at how little speedy I would. Give me your mackerels. You know, I only want two. Oh, what is this?
All right, we got a bolt of cloth. Dude, I hope these games get so difficult. Oh, I remember what I, what rant I was going on. I feel like there's so many of those like new grounds, congregate games, hull damage. Get out of here! I barely grazed it. So many of those games that like, I just wish that there was a, like a game around the fun parts. Or I should say, uh, more of a meta experience surrounding like the really fun mechanics in those in those games. And I've always wondered why more games didn't do something like what this game is doing, where there's just a really satisfying, pleasing mechanic. In this case, the fishing mechanic. Oh, there it is. This is, like, these types of little mini-games are so fun, but they're not enough to keep me entertained for, like, 20 hours. Farts. Do I even have enough room? All right. I'm gonna have to say goodbye to a, one of our holy mackerels. Neat key. So I can go to Blackstone Isle by literally 180-ing it. Spinger Line says, I also haven't been able to stay in the loop, but have you heard about Minecraft Legends? I saw the recommendation from Skill Up, and it looks like it'd be right up your alley. A weird mix of RTS and third-person action. Well, you said one of my favorite words. You have. So saying earlier, if you say RTS, card game, platformer, interesting indie game, roguelike, my interest will just always be piqued. But I saw the PC Gamer review of Minecraft Legends, and they gave it a 50. And, I mean, I, I don't know if that is commonplace. There's plenty of, you know, outlets that have been like, this game was kind of mediocre, and I think the game is amazing. Most notably, Earth Defense Force 2017 is still the greatest game that's ever made. Is that 50 out of 100? Yes. He's standing at the back, still holding the silver and crimson book. Well, you have something? Show me. You hand him the key. The cold metal shimmers, a strange shine as he holds it. The shape of the key, the teeth, the head. Now something seems changed, smaller. Has it always been this way? Just all? Where's the lock? Oh yeah, 6.5 out of 10 for Heroes of the Storm. Yeah, dude. And Heroes of the Storm is like, actually... Masterful. It's so good. Collector grows agitated. It seems these we're looking for have traveled further than anticipated. Much further. In that case, allow me to put X's. A burst of light fills your vision. You stagger back briefly. Oh, shit. Dude, here's the storm is... Really good at being consistently a blast. All right. My intuition tells me that the current may have carried some debris to the southeast towards Gale Cliffs. I'll mark location on your map. You can begin your search. Anything else? You know, what did the words do? The book holds power from the deep. I merely extended its powers towards you. Is there one particular you wish to know more about? Yeah, how do I go faster in my little rocket ship boat? The words of haste are instant and cruel. Oh my god, but Nerdzeal isn't. Nerdzeal, happy Friday. Thank you for 20 gifted subs. Hell yeah. Oh, Nerdzeal says thank you for the assist on the proposal. We loved it. Fuck yeah, that's how it's done. That's right, you took a little detour around Day 9 Proposal Island. And for any of you who want to know what it was, just trust that I sky dove from a mile up and, uh, Landed with the wedding ring right in their room. It was really incredible. It felt a lot like Tom Cruise in Mission Impossible. But anyways. <laughs> in all sincerity, dude, nerd zeal. Oh my god, now I, I assume you're engaged. I assume you're engaged. Because <laughs> you're like, thanks so much for the help. We're not speaking anymore. 20 gifted subs. Oh, you are engaged. That's great to hear. <laughs> I, was making, I was making an assumption. Be warned, however, it may put a great deal of stress on your engines. 
All right, nothing else. Bye bye. Now let me look at some other rods. Hydraulic rod. This is oceanic. So I like space efficiency. So I'm gonna get some research going on this. How in fuck's name do I get out of this place? Refined outboard engine. Oh, you are shitting. Haste adds speed to your engines, but increases panic. I'll just keep my light on. What in the legitimate shit was that? Wait, what, what direction am I going in? You know what? I'm doing it. And what, what does it say that it does? Nice. Beware of overheating. Oh, it's only overheating? Guess who's using that non-stop now? She walks towards the dock with a confused look on her face. Yes, he liked... To what I was saying earlier, the, the, the fishing minigame is fun. Then it's tied into the improve your ship minigame, which then lets you go fish more things and get access to more minigames. So that's just like a really fun, appealing loop to do just anyways. I enjoy fishing. I want to keep fishing. I enjoy money. Digital money so I can improve my digital ship honey. I want that. And so this kind of propels me to, no pun intended, maybe a little bit. It propels me to just start exploring around doing stuff. And then as I'm doing stuff, suddenly I get surprised by story bits. Which is kind of the opposite of a lot of, like, other games where there's, like, story bits and the story is just kind of shoving you forward and then you're picking up bits of gameplay along the way. This is like a fun gameplay loop is shoving you forward and fun bits of story are coming up along the way. In case it wasn't obvious, I've played this game for two hours and change now and I would strongly recommend this one. Grunger, it sounds like I'm sorry I mistook it for the vessel of an old friend. Ejected, she turns back and starts sobbing. Ship right repair. Uh, so the other thing that I'm looking for is yep, post eel, sure. And then if I go to my map, yeah, here's the maybe the next place that we should go to. I also kind of want to finish Steel Point. If I go to my storage, we have the wood. I'm just going to go to Steel Point. I'm going to go dredge towards that in the morning. Or, catch some fucking Night Flounder. Turkeys. Beep, 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 beep. Yeah, night fishing. Woo! Night crashing. And F. All right, so let's go ahead and sell. Gosh. This and this, plus 90 buckaroos. 
What do you think about the Oathbreaker format? I actually don't even know what that is, Kamamura. Oh, I'm considering crab pots. What the? Oddbobs' day night's play style for this game is so different than mine. LOL, I basically never risked at night. Yeah, I, I'm, I am kind of surprised that, well, Got a customer after fiddler, fiddler crab and common crab. Okay, so let's go ahead and sell all of it. Oh. All right, nice. All right, undock. Crab pot. What happens if I go crash into this? I'm trying to be brave, man. Oh, I just stayed up all night. Oh, shit, it... Tornadoes and rocks, they're not the same thing. They are not the same thing. But this game treats it like that, and I can't believe it. Shit. How, how much money do I have? Ship right. All right, return to town. So let's actually... Let's go to Steel Point, like we said that we were going to. We're going to just go to the left, and then out. Undock. Undock. Dock by do dock. Oh. Oh, sorry, my fingers are one one pip over. Dude, I'm so fast. So we're gonna get some mackerels. And I'm looking for some dredgeons. What are points and why are we trying to steal them? I hate points. Gonna get a pack of mackerels. I love fishing so much. Grotesque mackerel. <laughs> Grotesque is such a funny word. What is the eye on the top? The game describes the eye on top as uh, like a panic meter. Or an insanity meter. You know, some kind of like... Uh, I mean, it's just like a kind of classic Lovecraftian trope. Madness going insane. I really don't want this. But there's, there's actually some good bits here. Let me just drift! Oh, there's an unholy macro. Yeah. Alright. So, we're... Oh! So... We want to go to the material pile, and we want to put in another bit of lumber. Now, do I actually have enough to hold? How do we make this work? I think the way to do it is we actually get this three by these turkeys in here. And we actually have enough. So, I'm going to go back dredging. Can I say that I, I am very surprised that I have started to get really interested in horror? And if any of you have not uh, watched the horror movie Barbarian, I strongly recommend it tonight. Let's see if I can get some metal and just be done. like jewels or something? Oh, a goblet. 
All right, so let's put this here. Small fish. I'll... I'll dock. Oh shit. Dude, that's so cool! Alright, so... Research of a shell, nothing. And let's just go ahead and hit it, hit it with the Z's. Yep. Love sleep until morning. My favorite thing to do. Undock. Undock and rock it. You just take another shot at Subnautica. No, no, I meant reading and watching linear horror media. I'm interested in that. I can barely handle anything interactive that's scary. Like, this is right on the edge for me. Go deposit some stuffs. I like the aesthetic of horror. I like the sort of mystery of the unknown. What's going on with that monster? Where's the monster from? You know, th this, this kind of stuff I think is, is super duper interesting. Oops, oops, oops. Well, I deposit that at the other turkey's place, huh? Like, I really like that stuff. Um, we're going to sell all fish. I like body horror a lot. I think that's a really interesting element in almost anything. Um, check pot. Give me the crabs. Entirely sure how this works. Common crab. Alright, let's do this. Yeah, like a lot of the jump scare type things are indeed quite scary. Uh, let me fishmonger. Cash. Money. What do you... Where's it? It's flesh of one of these. They go mad. Well, perhaps. But I want to know for sure. Bring me a mutant fish. Any will do. Just keep this between us two. Great. Sell them all. All right, hold on, hold on. It's mission critical messages. Yeah, because, like, I think that some of the horror movies and shows that I liked a lot recently, Archive 81, The Terror. Terror is one of my favorite shows of all time. Um, Barbarian, the movie. Really good. Um, God, I know that there's, like, two other ones that Britt and I watched together that were just amazing. They were just awesome. Does anyone, does anyone remember what I like? Does anyone remember what I like? <laughs> see here. So we just need one more scrap. The aberrant fish is going to be no problem. Fiddler crab and common crab. Alright, you know, here's what we're going to do. Troll hunter. Oh, troll hunter is actually awesome. Troll hunter is actually awesome. Oh, the thing? I love the thing. I'm trying to remember something that I saw recently. Oh yeah, From, I actually liked and had a lot of mystery. It was so dark. Dredging time. Near parts. Oh yeah, Midnight Mass was solid. 
I like Midnight Mass. Oh, wait, you can see the materials right here. Oh, of course, it's just like the fish. That never quite occurred to me. Yeah, I... Oops. Haunting of Hill House was one of my favorite shows up until the last episode, and I, I just don't like the way that they resolved it. I was sort of just like, oh. Midnight Mass was slow, but I liked it quite a lot. Next season of From starts next week. Yo. I think From... I, I really need to do that. Did you know that Mike Flanagan is going to do the Dark Tower series for Amazon? Oh, I want it to be good. <laughs> oh, baby, I want that shit to be good. Consider me docked. Yeah, Trek Magically, I, I didn't finish season one, but I remember... It was looking good. Should let the builder know. Uh, actually, what? So I got... Resilience to Panic. Ooh. So is the, um, er, if I go into my inventory, my inventory. We actually have a little bit of room for a little bit of fish. Oceanic. See, I, I really want to get that Oceanic. Yeah, Dark, Dark Tower is really cool. It is, it, it is the kind of thing that I want. Honestly, always. I always want more stuff like that. It's kind of an interesting blend of horror and fantasy. This is the game. Great. Oh yeah, um, Control, I thought was a, just a marvelous story. Love that shit. Oh, and there's something that I need to do. I need to go to my, re no, not the research. trying to do here. Oh, yeah. Darby was standing motionless at the edge of the dock. Staring down at the water, he seems paralyzed by fear at what he sees. What's wrong? He stares ahead in silence. You stand with him for a while. Occasionally a tremor shakes his body and his breathing becomes labored. You all right? He seems unable to respond. He strains, clenching his fists. Eyes shut tight with the effort. A tear rolls down his cheek. You notice his neck and overalls are covered in a dark fluid. The same dark fluid that I was leaking from the package you delivered earlier. <laughs> Oh my god! Weesome once says, hey, I was a playtester on this game. Cool to see you playing it. Yo, Weesome, this game's fucking awesome. This is incredible. Oh my god, it's so good. Alright, his body relaxes suddenly and his eyes snap open again. They're cloudy and expressionless. Fluid rattles through his lungs. A drop of dark ooze falls from one of his ears and lands on the dock. It slips between the boards and disappears into the water below. Let me tell you something. I have talked about this extensively with Brett. And we both agree that if at any point someone had ooze falling out of their ear, we would be like, well, good luck, and we would get the fuck out of there. I am a coward. I am not ashamed of that at all. I will happily go hide somewhere. My goodness. Trembling head turns ever so slightly towards you. His breathing grows heavy in anger until you step backwards, leaving him standing there on the dock. Uh, what was my quest? This is what it was. I needed to sell this. Oh my god. Long walk, short drink, etc. Alright, undock. Stop by do dock. It's a straight shot. Oh, there's a 0% chance I'm going to crash into anything. Probably... You've done it. No sense of wasting time. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. That is that is hilarious, actually. I'm not going to lie. That is that is legitimately funny. Uh, light space? Sure. Hmm. 
new hull. Alright, let's get all this. Two cargo spaces to also hit with rods. Alright, we need wood. Um, yeah, and then we go to the cabin. We gotta proceed to return to the builder. Okay, here. Alright. I would like to sell fish. Alright, now I'm gonna go to the ship, right? I'm gonna add on a ship light. You've done it. Place me in. Sideways. Alright, so... I'm gonna go to bed. I, I, I am a huge fan of any game that has a little loop structure to it. Stardew Valley being the obvious one that I talk about constantly. Being just A plus out of 10. Needs repair? What the fuck? What? This shit needs fucking rep Are you joking me? Is it mackerel? Oh, we need to go north. I don't get it. Why would, why would my crab need repair? Yes, 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 I do. Thank you. Builder removed from inventory. I actually should have rotated her till she was just upside down. Stay, stay still. Stay still. All right. Uh, you're welcome to stay anytime. Reason toolbox pulls out a handful of components. Hey, holy moly. Thank you. Dude, flexible fishing pole. Okay, so if I actually go to my boat, I have this weighted line, I have this basic fishing pole. This is o coastal and shallow, and now I have one that can do both and oceanic. So, let us, let's set sail. Alright, I'm just going to go to the Gale Cliffs, because that's what the game told me to do. Today, we're going to do some dredging. Right to the edge. Let's get some flounders. Oh, mantis. All right, let's get this awkwardly shaped turkey in here. And that, I mean, that's that, great. So, next goal is next. We're just going to go back down to Greater Mara. I'll do a couple fish and trippings for the day. Aha! Oh, come on! I thought I barely didn't get hit. I. This is the wrong town. Wait, no, it's not. I had it right the first time. I didn't recognize you. You just look so pathetic. Is there any plans to place for the full thing? Um, right now, I'm in a bit of a bind. I'm in a bit of a pickle. Okay. I probably should have started this game earlier, but I had a lot of fun things I wanted to do this week. Um, 
Magic the Gathering pre-release event. I want to play Path of Exile. I want to squeeze this in before next week when the Magic the Gathering March of the Machine launch occurs. We'll all be trying to climb through Mythic and I've dedicated the next two weeks to doing that. This therefore means that I am just kind of in a bit of a life pickle where I, I don't have enough time to play all the games I want to play. In fact, tonight I will probably have a brew and return to my Totem Mancer and Path of Exile because it's awesome. Fishmonger. Sell all fish. Okay, so do I then go to the shipwright to repair it? This costs 45 fucking dollars. Can't believe it's done this. Okay, that's 410. 460? Yo. Unbelievable with this ship. All right. So I, I just need to... I'm going to do some loops. I'm going to get my fishing things. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to that mystery. E, and then we do this. And we... Gotcha. Start fishing. I like these guys. They're... They fit well. Alright. Good. I only want a one anyways. Ooh, some funky fish. Shard Ray? Oh, interesting. Because the thing is that I really want to upgrade that damn thing. I really want to upgrade E down here. I really want to upgrade to have a larger hull, because I need to have more. Okay, so let's do this. Fishmonger. Yes. Alright, see, now I am... Oh, fuck yeah, dude. Listen. Fishmonger's hands begin to tremble. His face grows anguish. Please, sell what you need, then leave. I must deal with this creature quickly now. Sell them all. Alright, so let's get our research started. Alright, so do we want Volcanic Shower? Or mangrove coastal. Holy fuck, dude! This thing is this thing is it. I'm probably gonna stick with these two until I get the big one. Oh wait, I can do engines, can't I? Can I unresearch pots? What efficient crab pot? Party crab pot? Large crab pot? Oh, fuck. Oh, last four. Oh, there it is. Why not? Let's get a hearty crab pot. Alright, that was fun. Shard ray. Okay. So then I'm going to go to the Dredog. Not to be confused with Dredog. Also hold nets. New hull, huh? Damn. Okay. Barred from the inside, fine. Totally fine. Uh, and this actually is enough room here. We need to load this. Storage, this. Cell. Storage. The cargo. Dude, I have figured out this game. So this is a shallow, this is coastal and shallow. And it's just it's just literally better. So I'm selling this shit. And now we just want to yoke up this thing. So that's gonna be our next goal. So it's bedtime. We're tired. We're out. We're done. We're a sleepy turkey. All right, so let's undock from this. And there's lots of little mini baby goals that I just fucking love. Take all.
I don't know how much I like crab pots. This thing seems to be fucking terrible. All right, we're just gonna do some quick fishing trips, right? Super quick. Mackerel time. Coastal. Given. Fill in the slots. Fill in the slots. Fill in the slots. On blocks. Fill in slots. Gosh darn. No! I hate these crablars. Can't believe I'm crapping on a crablar. It's not like me, but. Desperate times, right? We're all going insane eventually. Get back! Crab pots are high maintenance. Dude, they, they feel like it. I'd rather individually fish for shit than be efficient. Straight up. F. Zoink. Alright, so let's go ahead and... You're kidding. All right, all right, we're undocking, and you know where we're going? Do you want to know where we're going? We're going all the way down here, baby. So I just set sail this way. We're doing it. What type of art is this? I actually am pretty, pretty bad at knowing the difference between names of arts. I can talk about some of the properties. There's a lot of really strong art direction, a lot of really nice cell shading. The water's super beautiful. I mean, so this is something that um, games like Astroneer have done. Actually, if I do this, I can pause, huh? Games like Astroneer uh, have done this. Uh, um, God, I can't remember the name of it, but you have... So just in terms of language, you have the 3D model. Like, let's imagine there's a box. And let's imagine you wanted to make it look like it was wood, so you put an image of wood on the box. That's called the texture. Um, and this kind of art style does, in terms of the rocks and the trees, and even the boat right in front of you, there's basically no textures. It's just flat colors. So, I mean, you can actually look at this, uh, you know, at the boat that we're in. It's very simple, blocky shapes which can make it feel really nice and really readable. And then there's really solid, like, just cell shading being done on a lot of this water. Oh, look, it's banana rings. And I know that there's a name of the no texture on polygons, leaving it really, really flat. Uh, and I just can't remember the name of it. But, I mean, it, it's just done so effectively. Ingfell resident. Ingfell resident. Monsieur Lettuce has saw a tweet of the game company. Congrats, Day9. That's so cool. Hey, thanks. Hey, thanks. Now you know what I mean when I say I get up very early in the morning. Uh, do you need help with anything? I've been trying to prepare a special meal for my partner, but I'm having some issues. It's a dog. I'll do anything you want. Around here, we consider aged conger eels to be a particular delicacy. You may say they're rotting, but they're delicious if prepared correctly. Well, look who it is. Congratulations, Desper. Darling. Dude, this cat has just been so happy. She's gaining weight. She's eating a lot. Dude, I, I found that she likes what is possibly the most disgusting looking cat food, which is the Fancy Feast with a touch of milk. It, I mean, it, it looks disgusting. It literally looks like the inside of the android in Aliens. And she just, she horks that shit down there. She loves it. And I'm like, dude, anything to get you to eat. I am so happy. I love you. Oh yeah, we're purring, we're purring real hard. I'm gonna set you here. You're allowed to go anywhere you want, but um, I'm gonna need to figure out how to feed this eel to this dog. Not only we bury them in the ground and allow them to mature, but our dogs keep digging them up and eating them. I can't raise the subject without spoiling the surprise. Can you bring me an aged conger eel? Thank you. 
You'll be decently compensated. Anything else? Where do I catch mm -hmm. them? They inhabit the holes and burrows within the cliffs themselves. I imagine they've been fished around the edges, so you may want to venture into the passageways of the cliffs to find them. Oh, interesting. Don't, don't do it. Don't chew it. Oh, and did I mention that they only come out at night? Yes, I believe they hide during the day. Good luck. Anything else? Nothing. Uh, any shipwrecks around here? Kitten? Kitten, you need to choose a spot. You need to choose a spot and you need to lie down. Look, here's, here, here's your toy. Here's your toy. Here's your toy. Here's your toy. Look, it's down here. There it is. You know what? It's nearby your food. You can get it at any time. Here, look. I'll even help you. Here you go. Good baby. All right, she's going playing with her toy. Oh, wait. Oh, see that micro? You see that micro? Oh. Ahoy there, you're a new face. Fisherman, I take it? Perfect. Well, we should get along like a house on fire. Ha ha! Traveler and a merchant. All rolled into one. If you have any fish to sell, I'll take them on board and sell them at the next town I come across. Likewise, I haul a small cargo of equipment between places. We're going to peruse the stock to see if there's anything that takes your fancy. Let's see when you're ready to trade. You might be used to dry docks at other ports, but we can uh, make the same upgrades to your boats here at this floating dock. Check it out. Oh, to fucking hell yes. Fucking hell yes. Uh, all right. All right. All right, sorry, I'm getting messaged. This is going to be happening for the next little bit of time. People are pinging me, hit me with the Operation Ping Pong Bing Bongs. Oh, it's going to be so good. All right, so... Do you need any help? This from an angler. I've absolutely been trying to collect records where each species of fish. Yeah, let, let me know. I love recording. Mm. All right. Okay. So I'm kind of getting uh, dumped about a bunch of quests, so I'm actually going to back up and ask her about the fish later. I'm going to go to the fish market first. What if I put all these things in here and yeah, sell them all? How much is this? Five. You know, I'm just not that interested in using the crab pots. There are a lot of maintenance, and I like just dilly down. So if I go to my journal and I look, catch rare fish, or fish, gulper eel. In the center of Gale Cliffs. All right, undock. Okay, so let me just keep darting around. Hello, Despy. This is this this is the Gale Cliffs here, huh? Cat literally cat jam. Literally. No joke. Alright. Eat the cat, says Faust Wolf, as your first comment here. <laughs> Devour the cat. You know, you could just not. An old man emerges from one of the nearby broken buildings and hobbles ah. towards you. Ha ha! Greetings. Don't get many visitors around here. What is it you need? What the shit? Oh, fuck. My phone is blowing up. Hey. Hi. Can you can you give me another cute meow? This be. Hey, what, okay. Here, here's a good way to elicit a meow from this cat. Okay? We just do this. Give little scritches. Give little pats. And then what we do is we stop and we go, this bee, hey, this bee, make a noise, perform. God, she's so inconsistent about this. I mean, mama mia. All right. 
This place doesn't seem safe. Why do you live here? And it has a green exclamation mark. It's trying to make me do it. Aye, I've been stubbornly holding out here for quite some time. Truth be told, I've been reconsidering my position. I've been happy here for so long. My wife and I had such a beautiful life until the collapse. Now I'm alone, cut off by land and sea, left only with these trembling rocks on all sides. Get in. It's not that simple. My brother would never, you see. I used to live in Ingfell with my brother. He was a whaler. Things were bad. We fought mostly about how our parents' inheritance should be divided. I don't know if you've been watching Succession lately, but it was a lot like that. We were in the prime foolishness of our youth. When my wife and I decided to move here. I took the family crest I stole from him. After all this time, I can't return it. Where is it? That's where the problem lies. It's deep in Lovecraftian territory. After the collapse, that creature it dragged a breeze from the houses down into its wretched burrows. The crest went down with it. It's a lost cause. I'll look for it. Ah. So I want to go to my map and kind of look at... I love that there's just a crab in the middle of that. All right, so go here. Become, become flat. Lie down. Yes, I'll rearrange you into the right spot. And there we go. Now I can play. And she likes to rest her head on my WASD hand. Uh, tab, cab, messages. Interesting. Artifact manifest. So if I click on this and go back to the map, does it mark it anywhere? Because there's this thing where... Hmm. You know, I'm, gonna, I'm actually just going to go exploring. Because I feel like there's this kind of question mark of, like, in this game, what is marked on the map, what is left for me to discover, what is left for me to decide. Alright, treasure. Great, 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 great. Bag of doubloons. Alright. Uh, is this these vulpers? Blackmouth salmon? I missed it. Shit. You know what? I'm gonna go out tonight. I like how I'm arranging this in the worst way possible. <laughs> All right. All right. Pile of loose debris and gaps between the rocks. You can see what appears to be a large white teeth. Oh yeah. So if I look at this, can I zoom in on this map at all? So we are facing south. So I actually can't get in here, huh? What are you? Are we fucking kidding me? Of loose debris is clearing this would take some strong explosives. All right. Stonefish. Well, I really did truly the worst job ever of arranging these. And that's it. That's what we got. So am I going the correct way? Uh-oh. Here I go. Dude, look at that lighthouse from a distance. It's so good. Oh, shit. There's another ship. 
it's there. I don't understand the panic meter. I mean, honestly, I don't really understand it either. All right, so let me just keep selling stuff at the fish market. Is, is sleep necessary in this game? Like, I wouldn't have thought. All right, so sell all fish. Um, I feel great. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, like, the, the panic meter being relatively obfuscated is kind of classical for this genre. We need to wait. So if I look at this center of the Gale Cliffs, okay. So, so I kind of need to find a way into this area here. So I'm going to start, start the dig. I love being fast, though. I love being... Okay, I'm just going to do some morning fishing. Oh, I wanted to... Hit it in the three shot, man, you know? Oh! Ah! Yeah, like the unexplained insanity meter is like so good. Well, let's try not sleeping. Day nine was the worst that could happen. I love sleeping, Klingzog. I love it. I absolutely love it. Oh, Oceanic. Oh, I really do need to get that other thingy. So I should be able to find my way through here, huh? Oh, look, they're tiny. Holy fuck! What the fuck? Leave! What the shit was that? What in the legitimate fuck is that? Yeah, because, I mean, like, the whole, the whole core of, like, Lovecraftian horror is... Fear the unknown. Like, you just... In the same way that, like, this cat, no matter how many times I explain it to her, does not understand that if she's disrupting my, my work, like, destroying my camera equipment, we can, we can run out of money. And then she will not be able to get her disgusting, creamy, fancy feast and milk garbage. I only get one round one. She doesn't get it. She doesn't even have an appreciation for it. All right, so I I went through an early exit again. All right, I'm I'm messing up. All right. Fancy piece is nasty. We, we were desperate to get her to eat anything. All right, so let's go to the fish market. Nice. So I ha actually have enough to get the other thing. Okay, goodbye. I love you. Storage, nothing notable. Going to the floating dock. Yeah, I really want to get these things, man. Uh, shipyard. Yeah, this hydraulic rod is, I think, the one that I want. Right. Hey, you know what? I'm, I'm going to treat myself. I'm going to go to bed. Look at that. Hoops is the way you play this game with no concern for nighttime stresses me the fuck out. I have no desire to learn what Lovecraftian horrors lurk in the dark. See, the problem is, I've yet to see anything that is too terrifying. And my brain says, oh yeah. Midnight. That's when it's bad. And so, internally, I'm just like, as long as I'm okay and go to bed by midnight, we're fine. And that's mostly been okay, so I don't know if I'm, like, out too late or terrible things are going to happen. Silver trinket. 
dredge pleated. I also like that there's monstrous versions of all these. I feel like that makes it feel less random. I actually don't need that right now. Oh, fuck yeah, I need so much of this. Here we go. Give me all your lumbars. Oh my god, Doom Kitty, what is up? Hey, yo. Yo, Doom Kitty, see my Twitter? Pretty sweet, huh? Pretty tight, huh? Pretty neato, huh? Oh, look at these little space filling fish. This is terrific. Your lumber support. <laughs> Beomol, thank you. It exists. Oh, publicly at least. All right, that's good. That's good enough for me. So I'm gonna go all the way around the back side of this island. Like the URL too? Dude, I find that URL so funny. So if I go to this map, there it is, I'm coming around the booty. Coming around the back side. Piercing the veil. What in farts name? All right, I need to get some explosives. That, you're kidding, fucking kidding me. I don't believe this. They're just gonna show me. Oh, what's this? Oh, we are out way too far. Right? Oh, shit. Run away from the eye. I am out way, way too late. Oh shit, I overheated. Go, fucking go! Jesus, there's tornadoes! Fucking miserable out here, man. Dude, I, I've blown gaskets and gone, gone way too hard. Should go, congrats on the Thanks. Thanks, DK. That's Doom Kitty. All right, hold on. There's there's little crafting horrors that are lurking behind me, but I'm sure they're just like, oh, congratulations, Day Nine! I saw your Twitter account. Oh, that's really great news. Thanks, thanks, Cthulhu. And as as a thoth, we'll floth a thoth. Dude, let me tell you, HP Lovecraft loved TH. He's like, nothing is cooler than TH being next to each other all the time. I'm gonna come up with a whole bunch bunch of cosmic entities, and it's just gonna sound like a thoth a thoth. Azathoth. A derp ass name. It does not sound cool, but it's so weird, he's allowed to say that. Yeah. Fawn Ploth. There we go. That's my name. Don't wear it out. Done. Uh, I need to. I need to go to the shipyard. Are you okay? You look like you're on fire. Uh, great. And we actually have the coast. We have the ocean fishing, so we can do some of that now. Let's go to the fish market and sell my fish. Wow, these things are trash. Okay. Storage. Actually, storage. I need a. I just need a better ship. All right, bedtime. I'm gonna go into the into the ocean deep, and in the ocean deep, I'm going to be doing all sorts of good old. Picking up of things. All right. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. I'm going out of the open ocean because I can fish this shit now. Coastal. Yeah, I can do it. All right, that was pretty good. See, see, I'm dialing in. See, if I try, nothing can stop me. Appreciate the toe jam and earl throwback. Yeah. 
Yeah, baby. Oceanic, holy shit. It's a swordfish. It's an S word. What the fuck is this shape? Oh, holy Jesus. This was not meant to be caught, let me tell you. Turn around. This is such a big fish. I actually have not taken a moment to appreciate the clouds in this game. It's good stuff. To the fish market. Wow. Sell those fish to F. So I need to figure out where, like, explosives are. Uh, I guess sure. Let's do this. Oh, I need to wait for it? Okay, I, I, that was not clear to me. So, let me show my daughter Toe and Earl. She got so frustrated because the game is hard. Yeah, Toe Jam and Earl was like an absolutely amazing take on like, um, I don't even know what it was. So it's an isometric point of view game where you play as two aliens, two highly funky aliens named Toe Jam and Earl who have been stuck on the craziest planet in the galaxy, planet Earth. And they're looking for their spaceship, they're looking for spaceship parts, in order to get off. How in the fuck does this thing work? We need some black grouper, don't we? And the way the game works is that, like, there's just a shitload of monstrous enemies. Oops. And... There's shit little crazy enemies, but they're all, like, comedy-style goofy enemies. So it'll be like, uh... a pack of nerds. Or like a mother with a shopping cart that's out of control. And the game is so... Okay, so I need to explain Toe Jam and Earl to you. Okay, so it's an isometric point of view where you control either Toe Jam or Earl and you're looking for your ship parts. And the game has level one, level two, level three, but it takes it literally. So when you're on level one, you're wandering around and you'll find an elevator that if you get to it, it brings you up to level two. And the levels were actually procedurally generated. So you could play it again and again and again and you just had to like get comfortable with weird types of exploration and 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 level design and insanity it was so good and with each level you were sort of like there was land that was just floating in space and the way that you, you it was hard to die in the game but what would often happen is you get pushed to the edge and if you got knocked off you would fall to the level below so i mean you could wind up being on like level 12 and get knocked off and like fall down to level 11 and then to level 10 and then to level 9 and then to level 8 and that's when you would actually land. And then you'd have to like work your way all the way back up. It was fucking hardcore. And so when the game begins, you just move. It's your only mechanic is move. And on the ground, you find presents. And you can open up presents, and none of the presents are labeled. So when you open them up, it just does something random. So then you know, oh, this one gives me rocket shoes. Where when you open it up, it just... And it's just shooting you around super, super fast. Or you can get Icarus wings, which are wings that can let you flap over the environment. Or you can get tomatoes, which you can throw at people. But it also has completely useless presents. Like, there's one that you open, and you just, you burp now. So you're, ju you're just burping. You know what? I will go to greater. We'll go this way. Wow, 
I'm going to brave the terrors of the sea. And it was just so fun. When was the last time you played it? Um, probably five, six years ago. But I mean, I, I played that game to death as a kid. I played it a lot in high school, played a lot in college, played it in grad school, played it actually after um, I graduated. It was so good. What game is this? Toe Jam and Earl? Oh, give me a fucking break. Oh my, you look exhausted. You're not forgetting to get some sleep, are you? <laughs> hey, hold on, hold on. My, my phone's blowing up. All right. Overheating your engine is bad, okay? I don't actually buy that, because in, in reference to the greatest Sega classic, Toe Jam and Earl, overheating your engine leads to solid gameplay. Even breaks is as important as being productive. Oh, fucking... Give me, give me a break, you turkey. You know what? I'm going to sleep right now, because I like it in the daytime. The mayor looks more menacing for some reason. Yeah, it has a very sort of... Uh, Disco Elysium vibe. Like, actually, the, the art style looks a lot like Chu. If any of you have read the comic book Chu. Actually, maybe I'll fucking do that tonight. Can I say I don't recall? Anyways, what can I do for you? Whoa, this guy is roasted. I'd like to... Wait. Where is the black grouper? Did I already do this? Okay, I thought it was... I thought I needed to come back to this turkey and do some stuff. Alright. Chew is so good. Chew is one of the most... Chew is the example of what happens when you have a great idea and you commit to it. Or I should say, any weird-ass idea and commit to it. Nets. You bet. Chew is a comic book that tells the story of Tony Chu. The fine metal. Who works at the most powerful criminal or the most powerful crime fighting organization in the world, the FDA. It takes place after um, an avian flu pandemic from chicken. So chicken is outlawed. Chicken is contraband. And also, Tony Chu is what's known as a SIBOPATH, which means that whenever Tony Chu eats something, he gets a psychic impression of the history of that food. So if he bites into an apple, he gets a sense of the land and the farm that it was grown on. But if he, like, bites into a piece of bacon, he gets something else altogether. And so, in the story which is a ridiculous, goofy premise. Tony Chu frequently has to eat human body parts to get evidence as, as to what's happening in criminal cases. So it's this weird mix of like really dark horror and super goofy comedy. Um, Oh, and the only food that doesn't cause him to get these psychic impression is beets. It's just beets. <laughs> Actually, consumer taste, yeah, consumption. And so we were talking about I Zombie. We we're talking about Chew. Talking about Chew. Although I Zombie is good as well. Okay, what am I doing right now? I am looking to. Ah, oh, yes, repair. Uh, dry dock. Nope, nope. We want to go to ship right. Yep, we want to hold R. And if I back up and I look at my research, I got these nets, but really I want these these rods, these hopping hot rods. How much is this light? This light is 275. Alright. I may as well go fish. Go 
Going out here. I love absolutely. Shapes in the deep. Oh, look at my awesome bot posting about our job listings. Oh, this is mackerel. For some reason, I thought this was like a super large fish. Get me out of here. I can fish oceanic. Don't control me. Holy... What is... What are, what are these shapes, man? No, the game is going to have more Tetris than Tetris. Don't ever question it. Joe says, what if I'm a software dev, not a game dev? I mean, I'm not too precious about that sort of thing. Do you need hashtag ad now for advertising the game studio? I actually don't know. I actually don't know what the rules are on that. I think that I am required to disclose that, like, it's my company as well, I guess. Like, I don't know. Uh, gotta sell them all. Dude, I'm getting like double fish trips a day. Uh. Installed. All right, so like, here's the thing. I I, I am so addicted to un to upgrading the ship that I'm just gonna keep doing that. Because that'll also allow me to chat with like pretty simple clarity as to what I'm trying to do. Oh yeah, dude, Rax, you, you are Raz, you are absolutely correct, man. Great fishing mini games. Every game needs one. I don't need more cloth, I may as well just collect it since I'm here. I might just stay out tonight. Looking for dark ship. I mean, I have my, like, beep, 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 run, run hard, run fast button. Stone hums quietly, sending ripples through the air around it. Faint shapes dance upon its surface, vanishing before your eyes. Cold stone does not respond to your touch. That was fun. Also, this boat is an old husk. You pull a little closer. Look inside. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes. Holy shit! Yo, that's fucking sweet. Oh, shit. Get the fuck out of here! Oh! Run! Oh, shit! It's that easy? <coughs> oh. oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Amazing. Uh, hold on. My, my, uh... My things are... Alright. Alright, hold on. I got... I do, let me tell you. My, my, my phone is absolutely blowing up. It's absolutely blowing up. Detonating. Alright, so what was the last thing that happened? So it saves every time I dock, it looks like. Alright, return to town. You know, I think the thing is that I thought it was so cool that I was driving towards the camera. <laughs> I was driving towards the camera. I was like, oh, and then I just fucking crashed straight into it. Which, you know, it's it's inadvisable. Oh, shit. Oh, shit.
All right. Yo, know, that that's pretty cool. Like that that. It was also being chased. Oh, that's so sick. Go here. All right, so we're gonna continue to work our way around this little side of the island. Yeah, I think we're gonna do Operation Loop de Loop. You know. Let's see if my friend shows up again. Uh huh. Wait, what is that? A slab of rocks just from the water bearing crude symbols of curved fish. Base rough shape has been chiseled away. Okay, I need. I need. Let's actually count how many we need. One, two, three, four, five. There is no fucking way my hull's damaged here. That is that is an absolute lie. You know what? Fine. Fine. Hull's damage. Hull's damage. I really need to just face what's striking me. That's that's something that I think that I am going to recommend to myself. I like listening to me more than anyone. Bloop, 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 bloop. Let's do a little research. Doot, doot. It's for sale. For sale, yes. Uh, so let's go to the dry dock. No, not the dry dock. The ship, right? Coastal and shallow. And this is... This doesn't do everything, so I'm just going to ignore that. Um, so I think that in my tabs, everything's fine. Okay, so then... Oh, yeah, cabin. Hey. Goodness. Thomas Casey says, how's your march, everyone? I partook in a 31-day daily side effects. <clears throat> Houdini Art Challenge. Called Mardini and won. Stupid amount of work. Very rewarding to win it. Hey, congrats, Thomas Casey. I had a I had a sweet march. The final steps to announce that we are... Oh, I gotta go to fucking bed, man. We got a game studio that we're hiring for. That's sick. Feels good. Feels good. And I might be a little spammy about that. Might be a little spammy about that. But you know what? Actually, I'm not going to apologize. I repeat myself all the fucking time. Catch five bendy fish. There it is. It never occurred to me that I could just hit that. Feels good. Two. Three. I repeat myself all the time. I literally, I mean, it's it's like a, a identifying characteristic of me, the human. See, this is why I actually need to start working towards that hull. Where's the red rock? Thanos heads has that has no heads. There's a lot of people excited for you about the news too. Spam away. Yeah, I'm, I've actually been kind of like you know I I have my little feed open and you know the 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 putting of the information on like Fridays a very deliberate choice because oh wait what is this? Coastal shallow? Huh. I 
I guess. Um, you know, you I want to give it on a Friday, so in case anyone wants to, like, spend some extra time over the weekend submitting, they actually have the time to do it. Pretty straightforward basic stuff. And, like, so we post it, so that way, like, my work was leading up to now. And if someone wants to apply, they can fill it out over the weekend or, like, early next week. Or, you know, I, I expect it'll be over the next few weeks, these kinds of things will just continue to come in. Um, but, like, people, like, I have a little tracker and people have already applied. <laughs> not, not a tracker as much as a, a little thing that pings me, because I don't actually have any of the detailed info up. Gonna grab some mackerels. Hey, what up, dude? Ah. Thanks for helping me. Great. I found this while unpacking. You should take it. Oh my god, I forgot I get books in this. Read this. So, Builder, she's setting up a store. Bonus right. is interviewing and hiring is an extremely time-intensive process. Yeah. Literally just, yeah. Although, actually, you know what? No, I, it's literally, you just start flipping coins. It's that easy. And nothing can go wrong. Why did it get so fucking dark so fucking fast? Shit. How in fuck's name did I do that again? I'm so sick. Alright, nice. Okay. Uh, Shipwright, you're not gonna believe this. You repaired my stuff yesterday. Did you repair my stuff? Oh, it's the other one, isn't it? Storage, storage, storage. Dude, I, I can hold nothing. All right, sell all fish. Sleep, go to bed. I'm literally just gonna go looking for wood. Looking for wood, that's it, that's all we're doing. Because I really want to get the this new hull. So I also need to find sheet metal, or fuck that'll be. But we must go exploring. You know it's a good place as any to go exploring. Down there by Ingfell. We also need some explosives, and I don't know why. Hmm. Well, also, there, there's these other things, which is um, there's the ore fish, gulper eel, goliath tiger. Yeah, you know, maybe, maybe I'll do some of those. Yeah, I'm gonna do this recording rarities. That's what I'm gonna do. What a Diane Keto? Yeah, man. I have hardly anything to share, but happy to repeat myself. Ooh, actually, so what I can do is I can... It never occurred to me that I could actually pull up quite so high.
Hey, Fridium. Thank you very much. You know what? I like to think of everything as all skill, right? But, uh, you wishing us luck? Oh, we'll take that. Absolutely. It's huge. Alright, that's that's it. We get the one. Hope we can see Backer Quest as the first launch. <laughs> that is still the greatest. Oops. Beat it. Ah, oh, fuck. I thought I was going to get around it. Aye, aye, aye. All right. Uh, shipyard. So, got a surprise, a gift from my most loyal customer. I get a book. Fuck yeah. All right, so we need to do repairs <laughs> again, as usual. Fish market. Okay, so in terms of our... We need a lot of wood. All right. Press do you have any go-to Indian food, go-to staples you like? Um, dude, I'll be honest. I'd love Indian food. Virtually any Indian food. I am in. What is this thing? Oops. Oh, research part. Fuck yeah. I love chicken tikka masala. Masala, excuse me. Chicken tikka masala. I love samosas of any kind. There are other things that I really like. I just love food. We have garlic naan, sog paneer. There's this turkey here that knew something about a wreck. Garlic naan is so good. I always eat way, way too much garlic naan. You know how I can clear the debris. Probably need some explosive to shift those. Brother Ingfell used to make them. The whaling operation. You see nasty stuff, but with the whales all gone, can't imagine he's still in business. Ah, yes. Slayer is somewhere near by the large waterfall. Alright, so. Shipwrecks. Someone used to live here and kept the ship moored at the base of the cliff until it was struck by some falling rocks and sunk to the bottom. Beautiful boat, Dragon Ball Man. Low tide. I can still see what's left of the masthead poking through the waves. Where? At the base of the cliff? I'll just sink some research into some stuff. Oh, I have to get one first. Okay, seems fine. Alright, so. Yeah, yeah, Thaz No Head, if, if there's any change to show schedules, you'll just see me tweet or talk about it. Like, today, delayed till 2. It's nothing really that. Magical, to be honest. Magical is the wrong word, but any dramatic, you know. I want everyone to know what's happening in my life right now with regards to my streaming schedule. Oh, nothing like that. All right, here we go. Beep, beep, beep. When does mom on arena drop? My understanding is Tuesday. I've cleared my days out. Reel me in. I'll sell just a little bit more fish. Then I guess I'm gonna chill for the day. Get some Z's. Please post a voiceover and all your announcements with that deep voice. Hello. I'll be going live on Monday with mostly walking. Hmm. Many of you have been asking when is the next mostly walking? It's at the same time it always is at 7 p.m. on Mondays. And that is not gonna change. Uh, so, shipwreck there. 
It says ruins. Alright, so we can also... Th there's... This game is doing a variety of things with questing that I really like. Hey, what did I just do? Equipment types, use durability, lose 10% slower. Fuck yeah. This game does this thing where it, it, there's just this kind of constant, never-ending spread of stuff that I want to do. Heard you just make explosives. It was car says needed breaking up. Wasn't the most efficient or be more pleasant, but it got the job done. I've been thinking about getting back into it. I might be able to wrestle up some strong enough to clear those debris piles. Ah, but I'm not sure. I'd have a use for explosives. All right, but make no promises. Anything else? All right. Actually, you know what? It's a whaling town. Whales got scared away. Anything else? Laura Stephan says, could not watch with audio until now. What's your opinion on the game? I mean, I'd give it, like, the strongest possible recommendation. Even for smugglers. See, like, I, I actually kind of like the fact that... Okay, so down here on the south side, so I'm just going to run around the left. This game doesn't mark that much on your map. It doesn't give you that much of a... Oh, deliberate set of instructions to do things. Need lots of lumber, honestly. And I think that that's, like, really nice that I feel like I'm trying to keep track of things and I'm trying to keep track of quests. But, like, the game also doesn't put me in a situation where I need to remember everything. And if I miss this line of dialogue once, I'm hosed. It sure doesn't seem that way. I mean, it could be. You never know. This game was made by bastards. It's also very meditative in a way that is different than a lot of the um, games that I've been playing lately. Oh, shit. Shit, fuck, shit. Oh, damn it all. Oh, my God. I literally thought that front was back and back was front and then just kept ramming into that thing. All right, undock. Path of Exile, I would say, is very, very calm. That looked intentional. Oh, yeah, no, because I thought that I was... I, I tried to hit a specific button to go forward and rammed right back into the rock. And I was like, come on, bro, come the fuck on, God. Yeah, but, you know, like, I'm trying to think of some of the other games that I've played recently, like Against the Storm and Project Zomboid that have this real intensity to it. Or Magic Drafts, or, you know. Any other manner of thingies. Heard there'd be Rex. Crash into buoys? Oh, that's that's some garbage. All right, we took some serious damage and did nothing of value. We got that lumber, which is kind of cool. Still, 
still following me? Yeah. Yeah. Can't break my ship if I break it first. That's right! Only I ruin me. Huh. So, this is the wrong place. So that, that, that guy's a real problem. I don't like... How I do that. Alright, uh, so this is gonna require some more food, some more food, another thing. Um. So. Who, who talked about the. Oh, there was a discussion about how to get rid of the beast. Oh, there's a... There's a little red thing there. Look at that. There's a little fucking red thing. Okay, um... What am I... Yeah, tell me about the creature that lives in the cliffs. It's been burrowing tunnels through the base of the cliffs, and you see the gigantic holes in the leaves mm. just below the surface. As it forces its way out, it often causes rock falls, so if you plan on going in there, keep an ear out. Should it catch sight of you, well, you should be able to outrun it. It's quite slow, provided you can navigate the passageways. Mm. Huh. Opening up chasms beneath our homes. Alright. Um. Huh. Oh, God. All right. Well, so, like, th this is something that I just... I'm not entirely sure what the game wants me to do, whether it's just go dredge around here for stuff while trying to carefully avoid this. All right, I'm going to undock. We're going to we're gonna slip our way through here. We can get some unique stuff here, right? Gelatinous stonefish. Nice. Because there, you, I mean, you saw those shipwrecks. That was an incredible amount of potential resources. out from that way. So I should be able to just go this way around the island and I should be fine. Does it always come out that way? Okay, so this this is just a little test operation. I did a full loop around here. If I go back through here, is he like on the other side? I remember there's this really old game called Lands of Lore. That was like a proper dungeon crawler. Oh, I see what I'm doing wrong when I'm back now. Alright. And in the game, there was this area where there was this huge monster that would leap towards you, and it was like a really narrow hallway. And he would leap towards you this way, and you needed to kill him to get past him to get through a door. And my brother and I 
just could not beat this guy. He was way too strong. He was just owning us. So we shot arrows at him, and he walked this way, and then we left and wandered around the entire game, coming back here, and then, like, sprinted towards the door and got through and got to the next act. <laughs> That was so ridiculous. Alright. Anyone here play Lands of Lore 1? With Scotia and the Drericle? I almost got it. Uh-oh. Yeah, this guy sucks. Oh, I thought I let go. Oh my god, every... So, there's obviously goals that I can... Hello? Can you dock? Jesus! There's obviously things that we could be doing to... I just need that sheet. There's things that we could be doing to advance the story. Hmm. Certainly. But I really want to get some more metal out there, man. I really want to do that. Let me, let me actually just kind of change my plans here a little bit. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to... Oh, shipyard. Yeah. I think I'm going to just try to get this explosive stuff. That's what I think I'm going to do. All right, we're pausing the game. All right, doing this. All right. So let's let's refigure this out. This is the thing that it's just on the other side of the explosive stuff. So let me see what's going on here. Uh, Bagsy, we're going to give you a timeout. Please don't just solve the game for me and spoil the experience for me. We have pretty pretty. Hardcore backseating policy. Uh, let's go to the retired whaler. You just make explosives. I see. So maybe if we... Do the rod stack, or does it only use your best rod? So that, that is actually something that I would like a answer to. I would love any and all answers to. I think there there's that stack. See, it got him to come out here. Got him to come out here. Oh, shit. I did it again. Of all things to go bust out. Oh, he's coming for me, man. Alright, this is a disaster. Holy shit, I am... Alright, this is a complete waste, man. Every fucking time. Okay. 
looking for some very specific shit. Alright, so we've got the family crest. You know what noise that means. Wasn't the explosives? Wasn't that the explosives you need? That was cloth. Not that there's anything wrong with cloth. Fucking hell, go! Oh fuck, I blew it out again. Holy shit, it's both my fucking engines were fucked. I can't believe it. Get a burst of unholy speed. Fucking go! Fucking run! <laughs> ah! Oh shit. Lights out. Turn it on. Ugh. Oh, I'm going the wrong fucking way. Ugh. 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 Okay. Oh god. This is what it feels like walking my dog in the morning. See, I took the, I took the earbuds out so I don't have to hear anything scary happening. Like like whatever the fuck that is that I'm heading towards. Uh, yeah. Uh, ooh, what's this? The stone trembles before you. Place your hand on the stone. Deep vision enters your mind. A heart of stone, wrapped in twisting tails, serpentine, and coils, and all the stuff bursting through the cliffs. Isn't that literally what I've been dealing with, like nonstop? I'm going as fast as I can. Uh, go, zoom, 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 dude. I am speed. I am. Way too frightened to put my earbuds in. Are you kidding me? Being slow in a game where there's something chasing you is fucking horrifying, man. It's some nightmare fuel right there. Ah! Oh! Ah! Oh, God damn it! Go! Fucking go! Beep. Can't believe I blew out all my. Oh, wait, this is not a doc. Not a doctor. Okay. You know what? Take a nap. Take a nap. I'm gonna put these earbuds back in. All right. So we're gonna do. We're gonna do adjust a wee bit more. Let me undock. And you know what? Call me crazy. I'm gonna get this boat repaired. Not the place that repairs. It's not that I thought that was the place to repair Sun Guardian. It's the place I could go sleep so that way I don't have to cross this howling abyss. I'm currently blisteringly fast shooting across. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Go, 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 go. Actually, I'll do some fishing. Why not? That's pretty fucking good. Parts. Ah! We've been seeing this boat approach us all afternoon. <laughs> Uh, you're not gonna believe this, shipyard, but I'm wondering if you can repair my ship. Oh, thank God. Uh, now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go to the fish market, and I'm gonna just... sell this fish. I'm gonna, think I'm gonna tuck this away, I'm gonna return to town, and then I'm going to undock. Oh, God dang it. All right. Ah, uh, yes! Okay, there it is. What is it? I believe this crest is yours. God, I haven't seen this since, so he did take it. Your brother's sorry, will you let him come home? Hmm, I don't know. If I was in the right state when he left. Okay, fine. You can stay in my old workshop. But at least for the time being, I'll need some time to clear it out. When I'm doing that, perhaps you can do something for me. So you have trying to clear some debris in the pathways to make a shortcut with explosives. I was able to set a charge, but the cliffs seemed particularly unsteady that day. 
So I know it was detonating. You just need to get there, set it off. It's not that far. Look, some yellow flags nearby. It. You can't miss it. So I think we're going to hit the save and quits. I would be over the moon to find more time to play this game. I would be over the moon. This is an extraordinary experience. I've played for just a few hours, but the loop of fish, and there's different fishing mini games, and then you use it to improve your ship. Really satisfying little loop of going out each day, coming back each day, and then following that. Oh my God. Being able to be a person, uncovering a mystery all on your own. Oh my God, it's titillating. Absolutely titillating. But of course, the titillatingest of all, uh, where is it? Come here, Twitter. Uh, yeah, yeah. If any of you are curious uh, about the video game. Ooh, we got 269 retweets. There it is. Yeah, there's the tweet. Uh, we successfully got funding for a good old game studio and are beginning the process of hiring our first few human beings. So if you know anyone or would like anyone to apply, please let everyone know. Uh, thank you so much. I'm going to go. You're all terrific. And so is Dredge. Goodbye, darlings. Goodbye, lovelies. Goodbye. Woohoo!